2010 MacBook Pro DCN power board replacement. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. The back cover is attached with 10 Phillips head screws. Start with the 7 short screws first, starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Next, the 3 long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. Logic board removal. Unscrew the three T6 fan screws, but leave them in place. You can now lift up the fan and disconnect it. Disconnect the speaker, then the Wi-Fi cable, the DVD drive and the hard drive, now the trackpad. Next the keyboard. Make sure to flip up the keyboard latch before disconnecting it. Lift up the latch on the backlight as well. Disconnect the battery light indicator. Pry back and disconnect the LVDS cable. Remove the seven logic board T6 screws. Remove the LVDS bracket that's held in with two Phillips head screws. This is a very important step. Use tweezers to pry back the glued in microphone. Make sure that the microphone is loose. You can now lift up on the logic board, but be careful, there's one more connection. Flip it over, disconnect the DCN power board. The logic board is now free. DCN power board removal. Remove two T6 screws that are holding down the power board. You can now lift the power board out of its socket. DCN power board reinstallation. Place the power board back into its socket. Reinstall it with two T6 screws. Logic board reinstallation. Reconnect the DCN power board first. At an angle, USBs first. Reinsert the logic board in. Prying all of the cables out of the way. Gently drop the board in. Pry out any of the block cables with tweezers. Reinstall the seven logic board T6 screws. Insert the fan and screw it in with three T6 
T6 screws. Reconnect the fan to the logic board. Reinsert the LVDS cable bracket and screw it in with two Phillips head screws. Reinsert the LVDS cable. Be careful, you can damage the socket. Make sure to lock it in. Reconnect the battery indicator. Reconnect the speaker. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive, then the hard drive, then the trackpad. Make sure that the eyelash is up and reconnect the keyboard backlight. Slide it in and lock in the lash. Now reinsert the keyboard. Again, make sure that the latch is up. This can take some time. Use tweezers to help you. Once the keyboard is reinserted, make sure to push down on the eyelash. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on and secure it with 10 Phillips head screws. 7 short screws first starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the 3 long Phillips head screws in the top. Perform a SMC reset after power board replacement. 